the movie opens up at the McCoy residency which belongs to Ken McCoy and Meg. They are holding a birthday party for their son who turned seven. Then Meg gets a call from the clown that they booked and he tells her that he couldn't make it. She asks if he could send anyone as a replacement but he says no. Next scene we see Ken McCoy. He works as a real estate agent while he is at work. He gets a call from Meg and she tells him the clown said he couldn't make it and asks him to do something. Ken thinks for a while and to make his son happy. He decides to dress up as a clown. He goes into the house he was checking on and finds a bunch of costumes in the room. He tries some of them to look like a clown but none of them fits right. Then he sees the old box lying in the storeroom. He goes and opens it and sees old clown costumes in it back at the home. While Meg was about to tell Jack the clown isn't coming, Jack hears something from outside and goes to see. Kent arrives there dressed up as a clown and entertains them after the party is over. Jack sleeps on the floor. Kent picks him up and puts him to bed later falls asleep on the couch with the costume on while watching TV. Next morning he wakes up and Meg tells Kent to drop their son at the school. He goes to bathroom and tries to wash off the makeup but he couldn't and he drops Jack at school before going to meet up the repair crew in the costume. He shows them the house and while they are making the repairs Kent goes into the bathroom to wash off the makeup. He tries to pull off the wig and the nose off him but they are stuck to him. He tries to tear off dress but he couldn't. He takes a knife and cut off the dress but he cuts off his hand in the process and stops the bleeding with the toilet paper and he comes out to take a handsaw. He uses the handsaw to cut the dress but the machine breaks off instead. Later that night he gets to home. Late and Meg asks him if he went to work like that. Kent tells her that he can't get the thing. Often tells that he even tried a handsaw a knife and cuts of his hand in the process. But still, he couldn't get the thing off even after trying all day. But Meg laughs at him and takes him to the room. She hardly pulls the nose off and Kent starts to bleed and the dog eats the nose that fall off. She looks at him asks if he dyed his hair but he tells it's a wig and he goes to the hospital to get treated next day. Kent contacts his office and asks about the files of previous owner of the house to know about who this costume belongs to. But he decides to go there by himself. After seeing the box as being chained to wall he cuts off his hair and dyes it and puts some makeup on and goes to office to get the files. After getting the files he goes to a cafe while going through the files. He finds out that the owner of this costume's name is Mark Carlson and he is dead. He goes to a store nearby to find out who made this. But the lady tells him they don't sell this kind of cheap ones and she gives him the details of the company which makes clown costumes. He calls someone and a man answers the phone. When Kent tells him about the costume the man tells him not to touch it but he sound very frightened when Kent says that he is wearing the costume but he tells that it is not a problem at all and tells the address to Kent and asks him to come there. Kent goes to the said address and he meets the man named Bert Hart. He introduces himself and offers him some tea. When Kent asks how to get this thing off, Bert starts to say about the costume. He gives him a book and tells him the costume belongs to a demon who used to live in the mountains. Centuries ago, the demon would lure five children in the winter and eat them up one for a month and its name is Cleone but eventually the name became Clown and people are using it to make children laugh. Nowadays while he was telling Kent vision gets blurry and gets falls unconscious Bert drugs him by putting something in the tea. By the time Kent wakes up he was tied to a table and Bert tries to cut off his head with a butcher knife but Kent manages to escape by the edge but got striked on the shoulder. He throws the knife back at Bet and fights with him. He gets his hands on the gun and points it at Bert. Bert then tells him that it is not a costume but the skin and hair of the demon. Then he rushes back to his house and tells his wife to call 911 and says Bet tried to kill him. And he is also saying that he got possessed by a demon by showing the book and also tells Bert tried to chop his head off by showing the wound when he turns around he sees Meg's family members in the house. When Meg asks who he is talking about, Ken takes them out to show Bert who is in the car being tied up. Dave tries to take off the wig but Kent breaks his hand. He gets afraid of himself and says that he will go to the cops before driving off from there while Kent was driving Bert who is in the back seat tries to strangle him to death. But Kent loses the control over the wheel and he bumps into the roadblocks. He gets off and questions Bert why he is doing this to him. Bert tells him to kill himself before losing conscious. Seeing all this Kent gets scared and he runs off into the woods. Meanwhile at the police station Meg is waiting for Kent and she informs about her husband's situation and the cops takes his details and sends her off by saying they will contact her back at the woods. A kid who is camping goes out to wash the dishes and he finds Kent on the way. Kent asks the kid if he got any food. The kid shows him some food and takes it near him after he gets near Kent hold him and bites off his fingers. The 
gets loose and runs off next day. Kent decides to go into hiding and goes to one of the properties for sale while going in. He met a boy who lives next door who tries to befriend Kent, but Kent is so eager to eat the child but he resisted and goes into the room to lock himself up. After getting in he looks himself in the mirror and sees the costume as slowly merging with his own skin. Later Jack sees their dog as acting very strange and asks his mother about it. He thinks that the dog is acting strange since it ate his father's clown nose. Then gets a call from Kent. He says his goodbyes to her before ending his life. Then he shoots himself in rainbow blood splatters all over the wall. But a few moments later he wakes up again as if nothing happened. Later Meg decides to find him and she goes through all files on properties that Kent is handling and goes to them to check if he is there. Meanwhile Kent goes to the store and buys some cutting machines. He places them on the ground and sits on the chair. He kicks the wall to fall back to make his head cut off. But he got interrupted by the kid from and the blade breaks and hits the kid. Kent sees this and closes the door to devour the kid. Later Meg gets there and she talks with Kent through the door. She cries and asks him to come home and Kent says he can't when she says that she is pregnant with a second child. Kent finally decides to go home. Meg is so shocked to see the change in Kent but she still took him home. She drives him to home and takes him to basement and chains him up. Kent asks her to promise not to let him out no matter what he says. She sees the book of Bert that Kent bought and finds that Martin is a doctor and she finds Bert is still in the hospital after an accident and goes to meet him. Meg asks him how to get her husband back. He is in no position to talk so he writes on the paper not to trust him. Meg gets irritated cause he is not telling her anything. So she gets out of there. She goes to Martin's house in search of a solution. She finds a camera and there when she goes through it she finds out a man is feeding the demon. Some kids back at the school Jack got bullied by one of his classmates. So he runs out of the school and to home when he calls for his mom Kent hears this and calls Jack. Jack hears him and talks with Kent through the door. Jack tells that his mother told not to talk with his father but Kent convinces Jack to get to the basement. He gets to downstairs and Kent asks him why he is crying. Jack tells him in school Colton bullied him by trying to put paste on his face to make him look like a clown. Then Kent asks for Jack if he knows where the bolt cutters are. Meanwhile Meg's friend calls her who is supposed to pick Jack up and tells she couldn't find Jack at school. Meg thinks something is wrong and rushes back to home. She goes to check and gets startled by Jack from behind. She asks him where his father is. Next scene Colton gets home and while he is playing video games Kent enters his house. Colton sees Kent and asks him why he is here. Kent slowly starts to walk towards him while Colton is backing off. Kent rushes onto him and eats him up. Back at the home, Meg is getting ready to drop Jack at her father's home. When she gets downstairs she finds the dog turned into a clown dog when it tries to attack her. Bert comes there and slices its head off while Meg was screaming he tries to calm her up and puts the knife down after Meg gets calmed down. Bert tells her how he found the costume. He tells he found it in a shipment from Iceland where everything is rotted except the costume he put on the costume to help his brother who helps the children with terminal illness. And slowly when Bert starts to transform and he asked his brother for help and his brother promised him and that is the last thing he knows after he woke up the suits off and he eventually finds out that his brother feed him five children who are about to die for the five winter months to make the suit come off since his brother never left the house to guard the costume. So Bert doesn't know he dies until Kent called him. Meg asks if there is any other way to get it off or destroy the costume. He tells nothing works. He tried all including burning and melting it with acid and tells they have to cut his head or feed him. Meg tells him Kent would never do that to which Bert shows her the remains of the kid Kent ate earlier in the base. She goes to Colton's house and sees his body. They figure out where he would go next and goes to the children's playground cause clowns usually appears there after getting there Meg tells him to stay in the car and goes to get Kent. After searching she can't find Kent and gets to the car and sees Bird is gone while the kids are playing in the tubes. One of them sees Kent and he rushes on to the kid and eats him up. People sees the blood coming through the pipes and everyone runs in panic. Meg sees the people running and goes to find she finds Kent and tries to convince him that bird is going. 
to help them to which Kent says that he is crazy. But the demon tells her to bring him another kid and she can have her husband back or he will lead her son. And he goes after saying her to come to their favorite spot. Meg gets to outside and tries to find a child. When she sees a child alone she tries to go near him. But the kid's mother comes there while she is in the car. A girl approaches her, saying she knows Meg from the dental hospital and she asks Meg to drop her at home. The girl gets in the car and Meg drives off to the place where Kent told her to meet. After getting to the place the girl gets out thinking she is home and Meg closes the door locking her out. She changes her mind and tries to get her in but she escapes from there. After seeing someone outside a cop approaches her and goes after the girl after saying Meg to wait here Meg's father brings Jack to home cause he is upset. And after getting there he finds some blood and bones in the parking space. Meg gets to home and while her father is talking to her Kent comes behind and kills him. Meg gets scared and she runs into the garage and picks up a hammer. She tries to beat him but he catches her and pins her to the wall. He tries to kill the baby in her stomach. But when she tells Jack to run then Kent starts to go after him. She follows him and tries to stab him with a knife but he throws her off. Jack hides under the stairs. Kent closes the opening and he tries to catch Jack from upside. But Meg puts a chain around his neck and ties him up. When he still tries to go after Jack she backs as his head separate with hammer. Kent holds Jack legs again. 